Hey guys, my name is Sona, and today, let's talk 3D printing. You've probably heard of 3D printing, or have seen pictures online of the amazing objects people have made through 3D printing. But have you ever thought about how 3D printers work? Well, today, I'm going to explain just that. First, let's start off explaining just what 3D printing means. 3D printing doesn't refer to one specific process, but actually encompasses a number of different ways in which 3D objects are made through adding material bit by bit. The additive nature of 3D printing separates it from subtractive processes, like machining, where material is taken away to produce an object. 3D printing includes many different processes, each with their own methods, materials, and purposes, such as fused deposition modeling, stereolithography, digital light processing, selective laser sintering, and a whole lot more. However, today I'm going to focus on the two most popular methods, fused deposition modeling, or FDM, and stereolithography, or SLA. For both methods, you start off on the computer, making a 3D computer model of the project you want to 3D print. You can generate these on software like SolidWorks or Rhino. Once you have your computer model, you'll take it over to your 3D printer, which then chops up your model into hundreds, even thousands, of thin 2D layers. By chopping it up into so many layers, the 3D printer will be able to print each individual layer on top of each other, eventually forming a 3D object. Now, let's get into the specifics of the most popular 3D printing method, Fused Deposition Modeling, or FDM. For FDM, you need a thin filament to feed into the machine, typically plastics like PLA or ABS. This filament is fed into an extrusion nozzle, where it's melted for printing. Then, the extrusion nozzle extrudes the hot, melted filament onto a base, thus drawing each 2D layer of the 3D object you want to print. As the nozzle extrudes the melted filament onto the base, it cools rapidly, becoming a solid. The next layer of hot filament is extruded on top of this cool layer, and they bind together to become one solid. Eventually, the nozzle will have printed every 2D layer, thus producing your 3D printed object. FDM is incredibly cool, versatile, and cheap, but sometimes it's not as high quality as you would like. Stereolithography, or SLA, on the other hand, is well known for being much higher quality and more expensive than FDM. For SLA, you have a tank of liquid resin, under which is an ultraviolet ray. A platform drops into the liquid resin, and the UV ray draws one layer of your 3D modeled object in the resin. When the UV light touches the resin, it hardens and becomes a solid. This process repeats over and over again as the platform rises up out of the resin with your finished 3D object. FDM and SLA are just two examples of the many incredible 3D printing technologies out there today. For example, some people are 3D printing metals using powder bed printing and selective laser sintering, while others are 3D printing clay in the coolest designs. Some companies are inventing their own 3D printing processes, like Carbon 3D, who are taking the world by storm with their revolutionary continuous liquid interface production, or CLIP, technology. No matter what you can think of, people are using 3D printing to make it, which is why it's so exciting. I hope this video made you a little bit more curious and excited about this incredible technology. Thanks for watching.